Well, experts are warning that radiation levels now are rising at the Fukushima nuclear plant. And there is a high risk, they are saying, of a leak if the situation isn't resolved in the next few hours. Dr. Robert Jacobs is a professor of nuclear history and culture at the Hiroshima Peace Institute. He told us that nuclear power stations are programmed to shut down during major earthquakes. Uh, when a cooling system fails, as apparently happened in one of the Fukushima plants, there should be other systems that, other cooling systems that then kick in. Uh, so in theory, um, this is the kind of safety procedures that will avert any kind of, uh, any kind of event, any kind of nuclear event. But, uh, of course, one system can fail and other systems can fail as well. Um, so what happens, what the, what the primary danger is, is that uh, these reactors have shut down, so they're no longer generating electricity, but the cores remain very, very hot, and so those cores need to be cooled. And uh, if, the core, if the cooling systems fail, then the temperature of the cores can rise, and that can lead to uh, a variety of different sorts of incidents in which uh, radiation may be released into the environment. These plants are triggered to shut down when uh, Earth quakes are detected over a certain level, so the, the automatic and quick shutdown of the plants is the first uh, safety step. The second safety step is the redundancy of procedures such as cooling procedures, so that if there is a failure, there will be a secondary system that, uh, the, that will kick in so that uh, no system is relied on alone.